Saint John the Silent is known as the Silent Saint because he maintained a vow of silence for most of his life, communicating only through gestures and writing. Commitment to silence was seen as a way to focus his mind entirely on prayer and contemplation of God. He believed that by eliminating all external distractions, he could achieve a deeper understanding of the divine. Despite his vow of silence, St. John was known for his wisdom and spiritual insight, and many sought him out for guidance and advice. He is remembered as a model of monastic piety and devotion and his example has inspired countless others to pursue lives of contemplation and spiritual discipline. John was born in 454 in Nicopolis, Armenia. He came from a noble family comprising of generals and governors. Even as a young boy, he began to study Holy Scripture, and he loved solitude and prayer with all his heart. His parents died when he was 18, and he inherited all their wealth. After their death, the young man built a church in honor of the Blessed Virgin, as well as a monastery, which he himself entered when only 18 years of age. Ten other monks accompanied him. They intended to shut themselves up in the monastery for life, believing in shunning the dangers of the world. They wanted to practice a life of silence, and they spoke quite rarely. John's leadership and lifestyle of devotion impressed the Archbishop of Sebaste, who promptly anointed John as Bishop of Colonia in Armenia. At the age of 21, John felt he was not yet ready and worthy of the office, but he accepted the position. He felt unworthy and preferred much to remain a monk, but was obedient and went to perform his duties diligently. However, as much as was possible, he tried to live as if he was still in the monastery. Once in prayer, he had a vision of a bright cross in midair, and he heard a voice telling him to follow the light. The cross led him to the monastery of St. Sabas in Palestine. John realized that it was God answering his fervent prayers to lead a monastic life. He joined the monastery, which at that time contained 150 fervent monks. For several years, Sabas subjected his novice to tests of hard labor and service. He lived among them, unknown to anyone for some years, fetching water, carrying stones, and doing other menial work. Sorry for interrupting the video. I am here to deliver a quick message. If you think our channel has given you $5 worth of knowledge, then can you take a moment to make a donation? Please don't skip the video. 99.8% of our viewers simply skip this, or many think they will donate later and forget. If you make a small donation now, then we can keep making good videos like this one. You can choose to support us through Patreon or make a one-time donation through PayPal. The links are given in the description box below. If you are one of our rare donors, we warmly thank you. You have shown the world access to good content matters to you. Thanks again, and God bless. After passing the tests, he was given a separate hermitage where he lived in seclusion uninterrupted. 
John fasted for five days a week while confined in his cell. He only left his cell on Saturdays and Sundays when attending the public mass. After three years of dedicated devotion, John was made the steward of the monastery. After four years, the people at St. Sabas decided to make John a priest. They didn't know that John was actually a bishop. John had kept the secret to himself. John requested a private meeting with the patriarch Elias of Jerusalem. He confessed to the patriarch that he was a bishop who fled from his duties in Armenia. John decided to leave the monastery, but the people at Sabas convinced him to stay. For the next four years, John lived in his cell, secluded, not speaking to anyone except the person that brought him essentials. Desiring ever greater solitude and increased abstinence, St. John quit the monastery and withdrew to the desert, where he spent more than seven years eating plants and grass. He spent those years conversing with God in uninterrupted silence. He returned to the monastery after his seven years of solitude, and everyone was happy to see him. He returned to his old solitary cell and pursued his obscurity and humility. He lived there for 40 more years and never turned away any of the people seeking counsel and instruction. St. John the Silent spent 66 years at the Lavra of St. Sava the Sanctified. Through his constant ascetic efforts, by his untiring prayer and humble wisdom, St. John acquired the grace of the Holy Spirit. After his prayers, many miracles took place, and he was able to discern the secret thoughts of people. He healed the sick and those possessed by demons. Even during his lifetime, he saved those who invoked his name from certain destruction. Once, he scattered fig seeds on barren rock. In some time, a beautiful and fruitful tree sprang up. In time, the tree grew so much that it overshadowed the saint's cell. Saint John died in 558 at the age of 104 due to natural causes. He lived a life of solitude for 76 years, interrupted by nine years he spent as a bishop of Colonia. His feast day is on the 13th of May. Saint John is the patron saint of love of silence. Father, you called Saint John to the solitary life in which he prayed for others. Grant us the signs we seek for discerning your will and purify our hearts, dear Lord, that we may serve you more perfectly. In Christ's name we pray. Amen.